sorry, thank you. Uh, Ridwan, thank you. Thanks for giving me the chat notification. I forgot to record the chat. Achha. So since I just started the recording, I'll take one more minute just to say what is over here. These are the four different equations of motion that we have learned in our O levels. Uh, and these are the five variables that, uh, that we use four of them in these equations. One of the prerequisites for using this equation is that with the acceleration has to be constant for the segment of motion or for the duration of time for which these equations to be used. And acceleration being a vector quantity, acceleration being constant essentially means that it has to be constant in terms of value and in terms of direction as well. This is why for a circular motion case, none of these equations can be used because the acceleration is a continuously changing variable. And which equation to choose for what type of math is something that we're discussing over here. For example, uh, if we have, uh, so let's say in a certain question, uh, I'm going to go to the example. In a certain question, if it is such that, uh, the question tells you that an object starts from an initial velocity of uh, two meter per second, and then it undergoes an acceleration of, let's say one meter per second square, and it travels for a, for a time period of, let's say three seconds, and then what would be the final velocity? So, to make a question, I will show you how to question the question. The question is how to relevant variable. Variable is symbol. So, it is acceleration, it is initial velocity, and it is final velocity. And then, the question is how to do the equation. So, the VP is VI. So, the ultimate equation is VI. So, that I can replace the three variables and calculate the V. Altogether, the missing variable is the S. I will show you the information. Shake is a two easily a honey forty question to use for it to make and take a beta calculate and that goes for the rest of the formula as well. That you look out for which of the variable is altogether missing from the discussion, and that way you choose the formula conveniently to go for this thing. Some of the formula will derivation would be like banner, but if you're in if you're interested, you can look at look this up in the internet, Google this that uh, derivation of the equation of motions, you can find this up as well. In some cases, I also uh, discuss the derivation of this formula in my AS classes because sometimes I feel that's necessary. But ask your online class, I mean, the Koratsina, because this is a bit far fetched for your syllabus. But if it's required, it, it might be included in the documents that you're going to receive. Uh, or if it's not required, no, no big deal. If you require it, I'll eventually teach you later on. But it's on the syllabus journal exclusively like how to derive these equations. You just need to remember these equations and be able to use them. Uh, this is the amount of data that would be available to you. Because you will eventually learn some more constants uh, in your A2 level. So it actually is a, com to, a common list for AS and A2 together. So these are the variables that you would have access to in terms of number. And these are the equations that you'll have access to in terms of equations. These are not all the, uh, this is not all of the equation that you have in your syllabus. These are some of the equation that for reasons unknown to me that the CA people prefer that you should have access to. So you will have these equations to be at your disposal. So any single time you feel confused, you can always take reference to this part. And if you, if you, if you find it difficult to find out this, this, this part uh, equation is very simple. You can simply download any of the year question. Let's say um, you, do year question uh, yeah, you, you download any of the year question and on the second and the third page of any year question, you'll find this out. Let's say S15 and then we can go for, let's say 21, question paper 21. So this is the first page and there you go. Second page is data or third page is formula. So you can always look this up. There are key equation that are available so that you know what you're going to deal with. Okay, this is the part. Second English data is once we, okay. Second English data, I'm going to ask you a lot of questions. O-level is our altogether motion air total format touch in a straight line. What do you mean by this? In all of your mathematical approaches for your O levels, you didn't have to work with curved motion. You didn't have to do any mathematics regarding curved motion. Let me be more specific about this. You had a little bit of introduction about the circular motion where you only learned two things. 
you are not there was no, no mathematics were involved for the circular motion you have to learn exclusively two information about circular motion in all levels this two information uh, is uh, at any point of the circular motion of an object the velocity instantaneous velocity is tangent with the circle or tangent with the curve act number two the force causing the circular motion which is also called the centripetal force is radially working towards the center of the circle but there was no mathematical calculation. Ultimately, a so the circular motion is mathematical calculation like the night. I'm a to the Ashby, my circular motion our largest scale to the Ashby. What we're going to learn for today's uh, for our a to a for our a level uh, for the equation of motion or projectile motion that is, we're going to try to cover the scenario that what happens whenever we throw an object at some angle into space and it go, makes a curved movement like this. So I'm going to object here. So that the ground is at a certain angle, theta angle, I'm going to shoot for this. If theta angle is shoot for this, it will eventually become curved for this. So this is a curvature path. You have to understand this is not a linear path. This is a two-dimensional path. Here we have some horizontal distance covered. The object also did rise up from its original height to a certain level over here. And initially did fall on the ground once again. So it has some Vertical height covered at different points of its motion as well. Ultimately, the ground hit the total, uh, total vertical height which is zero or total vertical displacement is zero uh, whenever it hits the ground altogether. Uh, so, we're going to cover the discussion about what happens at this kind of motion. And you need to understand this is a two dimensional motion because we have the object moving along both axes. We have the horizontal motion we are involved, we also have the vertical motion involved as well. Point one. Point number two. Whenever an object is going in a straight line, its velocity and accelerations can be, I mean, UVA, correlated. The idea is very simple. If acceleration is working in the same direction as initial velocity, the velocity is going to get bigger. Manoche, V equals to U plus AT. So I'm going to equation adjust for it. T is a scalar quantity. It's a personal value. Absolute value of T is can never be zero. So acceleration are U. It is a symbol to the same way, which means one of the top of the initial velocity decay. Acceleration of the current value decay cash for the It is fit of the value. The directions are same. That would altogether increase the velocity and vice versa. Vice versa, acceleration to the cash for the Sorry, initial velocity to the cash for the same. Acceleration to somehow the ultra decay cash for it. The lamb of the final velocity data as the secure because this is, there will be a built-in negative sign over here. So this is the case for the linear case. A case some other just to have that because it's a two-dimensional case, we're gonna have to work with the equations of this motion secluded in or divided into two-dimensional aspect. So I'm not horizontal axis or about uh x axis calculation will the vertical axis or y axis calculation we're going to handle the two different directions of directional uh, uh, directional uh, uh, equations individually and separately and whenever required in applicable cases we're going to combine the two axis information together to get a combined information whenever required don't worry about this so first of all we're going to calculate the Two set of equation individually separately from each other. It can occur. Should I reason to say whenever we'll throw an object in, in a space like this, let's say in, 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 we are gonna throw an object in this direction. Uh many of you might feel also uh, might also feel like a question this object should the MNCOR cannot choke or object are on a choker, the vertical choker, the horizontal choker, the downward stroker, the blah blah blah. Why we are considering this? Well, this is considered to be a, a generic case. You can think eventually I'm not with honor shop gula case. I'm not just a move in court. So I'll be covering all of those possible scenarios over the duration of the lecture. But for the time being, we consider this as a generically generic to generalized generalized approach, which can eventually conclude or which can eventually include all of the individual different cases as well. So we're going to see about those as well. So don't worry about this. 
so we will say we are going to throw this object over here and this is the center point of the object so ekhane jodi jokhon amader ultimately object ta jokhon land korbe object ta land korlo amader eventually ei point porjonto she land korte parar kotha tar mane hocche amar ekhane ei je eto boro ekta line ache eto boro line ta hobe na so let's say the object project motion hocche etu porjonto before i get into the dive into the equation one of the key things that i need you to understand seta hocche for your syllabus the projectile motion is made limited as long as the object is moving freely exclusively under the effect of gravitational force or weight let me say that again for your syllabus projectile motion is limited is defined to be limited for as long as the object moves freely under the effect of gravitational forces or weight this means couple of things এই জিনিসটা একটু ভালো করে বোঝার চেষ্টা করো আই এম নট গোনা ড্র ওভার হিয়ার বিকজ বাট আই এম গোনা আই এম গোনা টক থ্রু ইউ টক ইট থ্রু ইট আই নিড ইউ টু ভিজুয়ালাইজ লেটস সে ইউ হ্যাভ আ পিস অফ স্টোন ইন ইওর হ্যান্ড এন্ড ইউ ওয়ান্ট টু থ্রো ইট এট সাম অ্যাঙ্গেল অ্যাওয়ে फ्रॉम ইউ সো থিংক अबाउट ইট টু থ্রো দ্যাট স্টোন ইউ আর গোনা পুল ইওর হ্যান্ড বিহাইন্ড বাই এ কাপল অফ ফিট অর অর ওয়ান ফিট অর টু ফিট এন্ড দেন ইউ আর গোনা স্টার্ট অ্যাক্সেলারেটিং ইওর হ্যান্ড টুয়ার্ডস দ্য ডাইরেকশন অফ দ্য থ্রোইং you're going to keep increasing the speed of your hand along with the stone as well by using your muscles by using your energy from chemical energy from your muscles after a little while when you have given enough speed in your head you're going to let go of the of the of that stone from inside your grip you're going to expand out your fingers and you're going to allow the stone to leave from your hand and at one point you're going to start slowing down your hand while your fingers are open the moment you start to slow down your hand because your hand is cannot get detached from your body that's at one point of that motion your the stone will lose contact from your hand's grip lose contact now the idea is that as long as the stone was being accelerated by your hand it was affected by two forces at least one of the forces who has to be weight because weight is a default force that is working on every object that is under a gravitation in inside a gravitational field and the second or second force was the accelerating force that you are applying onto that stone so because we have two different forces working over here projectile motion did not start as long as it was in contact with your hand projectile motion did not start as long as it was in contact with your hand the instance the stone leaves from your hand or the instance the stone loses your hand contact it now is only experiencing exclusively the gravitational force from that point onwards it is only affected by the gravitational force or weight we'll say that the projectile motion starts from there so what i want you to understand very 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 minutely is that for your syllabus volume if i write in two different axes let's say uh, horizontal axis hocche x vertical axis hocche y horizontal axis se amader kono acceleration thakbe na because also for simplicity sake we'll consider air resistance to be zero keno air resistance ke amra zero dhori seta ami bolte sikto pore however vertical case e amader shobshomoy ekta acceleration thakbe vertical case e she acceleration ta hobe hocche minus g now you might wonder minus keno minus hocche vector sign hisebe amra typically jokhon ekta certain vector sign er symbol as symbol dei for plus minus we usually we usually generally and this is a rule of thumb but this is not a Uh, this is not a uh, compulsory uh, rule throughout the world i mean this is something that we prefer to do but if someone does the other way around they are perfectly correct as well if they don't do uh, uh, inconsistent mistake in their uh, uh, mathematics further down the path seta hocche amader coordinate system jodi amra judge kori coordinate system e amader eta jodi origin hoy edike hocche amader positive x axis so eta hocche mone kora plus x edike hocche amader negative x ar edike hocche amader plus y edike hocche negative y so a basic coordinate system er notion theke amra jeta bujhte parbo je ekta certain vector vector quantity jodi upward kaaj kore othoba rightward kaaj kore she vector quantity gula ke amra bolte chhi positive vector typically it doesn't have to be that way but that's something that we tend to stick to and vice versa if certain vector quantity works to the left and if certain vector quantity works downwards in this case we're going to name them we're going to give them value as negative vectors so depending on that weight of an object always works vertically downwards so it follows this pattern ei je ei duta ei duta ei duta correlate korteche let me draw with green ei duta correlate korteche so because weight always works downwards that's why the acceleration produced by weight which is basically what 
W goes to mg. W goes to mg. So uh, that g will be also working downwards. This is why, as a vector quantity, we prefer to write this thing that acceleration in the y axis is given by minus g. Now, when I am not equation of motion will apply curvo for individual axis. We can use this equation. We can you can use this four equation for individual axis. And in those cases, whenever we'll replace the acceleration in the y-axis, we're going to replace it with minus g. Remembering that upward is taken to be positive direction. Upward is taken to be positive direction. Any question so far? Anyone? No, sir. Awesome. So I give booster, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you have any question, please respond. Uh, it's important that you ask me a question because these are new stuff for you. Uh, but I'm repeating the question uh, information enough times over so that you don't have much confusion. Uh, but still, if you have any, uh, let me know. Let me let me be informed. Okay. Uh, question question. Why the horizontal acceleration is considered to be zero? Both the same. For the sake of simplicity, simplicity means simplicity. Sake that the one that I have to explain. What do you mean by what do I mean? What do I mean by simplicity's sake? It would say, the way in many cases the theories and the mathematics of physics or other natural sciences also are derived is that first we try to develop a very simplified scenario, which has the least number of variables impacting our decisions or observations. Then we then once we have a structure to this mathematical structure or, 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 or logical structure to this, then we slowly start to add in more variables that's going to make the situation more complicated and more realistic. That's how typical things work. When at a, a concept could basically in a near part would say, if you consider the scenario for uh, the, if you consider the idea for a particle, particle, a particle is essentially an object that has zero volume, but it has some mass. Now it's impossible for you to visualize a particle because we human beings cannot even visualize a one dimensional thing. The least we can visualize is a two dimensional thing. If I ask you to visualize a line which doesn't have any thickness, you cannot visualize it. Even if you visualize it by a small thickness, it's not a line. It can be a very thin rectangle, but it's not a line because by definition, a line is supposed to have zero thickness. Similarly, you cannot visualize a particle because a particle is supposed to have zero volume. Now, if you wonder, Egula can able to see. Just to give you the idea of simplicity sake that if you consider in the case of example of for the case of an example of moving an object or applying some force onto an object or accelerating a body or a gravitational forces or ultramatic forces blah 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 in for kinematic scenarios for dynamic scenarios if you consider a particle for your considered object you don't have to deal with the possible problems of rotation because a particle is only an existence it doesn't have any dimension so it cannot be rotated. The only variable that you can talk about or you have to talk about is actual movement from point one to point two or something that we call translation. So you don't have to deal with the trouble with rotation. The moment you add volume to an object, in that very instance, there is a possibility of rotation of the object. Can you the act object on force supply? Margaret at a spherical object as a spherical object as a force supply. But the exactly COG whatever force supply nakoro. If, it is, if your application of force is somewhat offset from the center of gravity, then as the object is going to move away from you, it's going to also get started with some spin. So the possibility of rotation comes in. And that was a simplified case that I considered to be sphere. Objects can be also considered to be not sphere. For example, an aircraft, for example, a rocket. They are not spherical per se. They have different complicated structure. So in those cases, you have to design that what kind of scenario is going to happen if we don't have a perfect ideal shape sphere. We have a complicated structure like a rocket or like a space shuttle. And from those things, you can see muscle and you can get, get onto much difficult variables. The point that I'm trying to make is that we try to get a very simplified version first, the least necessities. And then we prefer to slowly add up more and more variables to this thing. This is a way of scientific research for most cases. Now, horizontal acceleration is the Baddar current of the air resistance. I mean, horizontal uh, well, weight only is working vertically downwards, so that's a given. As the object will travel by along this track, well, considering it is not a vacuum, which is not supposed to be in general, so it is a it is a normal atmosphere. So, 
as it travels through the atmosphere, it should be subjected to air resistance significantly. The question being that why are we considering this air resistance negligible? At initial check, air resistance or fluid resistance, as we speak, they are resistive forces. Resistive forces are a key property. They are going to always work against the velocity, not force. I'll repeat. Resistive forces are always going to work against the velocity. So I'm talking about direction. So idea to me, you can act object in monocoro. I'm not going to bam, go to throw a man. I had this little chocolate stone like a chocolate. And then the stone is given off from the hand surface and started its projectile motion. And it's going to cover a path like this. So if you consider the instantaneous velocity at each of this point of this motion, you can draw tangents on this curve. This curve is what you call a trajectory. That is the word trajectory. This is so the curve. Yes. This, this path is the trajectory. Yeah. This curve path in which the stone is stone, stone follows through is called the trajectory. Trajectory means the, uh, the, the path it follows, the path it follows. So if you draw tangents at different points on this curve, you can get the instantaneous direction of the velocity for different points of this motion. So you can do this by, uh, by uh, your geometric instrument. It's not very perfect over here because I'm trying to hand drawn with mouse and everything. So you can get the velocity. So what do you need to understand? At every single instant, I'm the velocity direction in the change. So you can have the upward velocity. So you can angle to theta. Joto object as a super root bay, I'm the a velocity as a secure horizontal. Exactly on the peak point, my approach exactly on the peak point. You can have a mask and dot 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 line. I mean, highest point I represent for our journal. So we point out the velocity to the velocity of a perfectly horizontal. I mean, you can take a can utter some way. Theta does the contest. Object as a slanting task as a cute. Come to 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 come as it will fall from the highest point downwards, the number of theta can do a negative because if you consider velocity over here at this direction with the horizontal, the angle is now clockwise. Have a look, it's a clockwise angle, it actually kill angle and a clockwise angle. <laughs> and from the idea of your geometry, you should know that anti clockwise angles are positive angles and clockwise angles are negative angles. Do you know this thing? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know this thing from the all sentence cost thing that four quadrant stuffs. So, downwards fall so positive axis is no decide take a the angle like that will be a negative angle which means some other angle the constantly change which so since the velocity is constantly changing at every instance of these velocities the air resistance is going to work exactly opposite to the opposite to this velocity which means air resistance is going to be a continuously direction changing force it's not going to work in a single direction it's gonna going, going to be exactly opposite to the velocity of the particle at that instance. And you're gonna have a continuously very varying force near match color act two by hoche calculus. If you ever have to work with a variable that changes continuously over time or over, over, over observation or over height or any other variable, the only logical way you can do mathematics with this kind of variables is by calculus. Which for your level in this your in your AS syllabus we did not want to incorporate. That's why we discarded the existence of air resistance altogether. Reason double show. We did not want to include the air resistance factor as in your AS level for the sake of complicacy. That's how the CA people uh, perceived it. So we discarded the air resistance altogether. So we're gonna do all of our mathematical equations or all of our mathematical modeling for projectile motion. Assuming that the air resistance does not exist at all, period. So, so the only force, exclusively the only force your projectile motion particles are going to experience are is going to be the weight, which is going to cause the vertically downward acceleration. Ay equals to minus g. Does it make sense? Yes, sir. So, if you have a horizontal force, you can see AX equals to zero. If you have a question, Fariha Alam, Bushra, Bucho. Hello? I think so. Never mind, uh, she ain't responding. We'll move on. 
So it a bit of the key to the factor, the horizontal direction and acceleration zero or vertical case and acceleration also minus G. I'm not a good equation. The I'm a doctor. I'm a question. Will get up for watch before I get further into the equation. But the development I'm talking about the art is human quiz. It's about the level of support. So she don't say if we have two vector quantities to work with, we can calculate the resultant of this two of two vector quantities by using triangle rule or parallelogram rule. So I get a finish money. I say. Yes, sir. we can find out the resultant of two vector quantities by using triangle rule or parallelogram rule. If you wonder, the, why only are we trying to calculate the result of two vectors? If we have more than two vectors, then what are we going to do? Well, that's pretty simple. You take two at a time. You are trying to, if you are trying to find out the resultant of 10 vectors, then you take two, two of these vectors one at a time and you get five resultants. Then you take two of them, those two resultants, and you get three, three, three. and then you get Two of them and then you get two and then you get the final one if you know how to add up two of them you can add up any number of vectors you just have to you just have to repeat the process more times but you can so teaching uh, or knowing how to add up two vectors pretty much solves the problem of adding up multiple vectors in any way because that's just basically doing the same step for multiple different variables uh, every, every once in a while so that's one point আচ্ছা আমার তোমার আরেকটা ভেক্টর দেওয়া আছে মনে করা হচ্ছে লেটস সে ভেক্টর আলফা আচ্ছা না ভেক্টর আলফা কে ভেক্টর না দেই মনে করা হচ্ছে ভেক্টর এ ইকুয়াল টু হচ্ছে বি প্লাস সি প্লাস ডি প্লাস ডি সরি ডি প্লাস ই মনে করো এই চারটা মিলে হচ্ছে ভেক্টর এ সরি ই ভেক্টর আমরা যদি এই চারটাকে একসাথে সাম করতে চাই তো देयर इज अ ওয়ে হুইচ ইজ कॉल्ड द পলিগন রুল পলিগন রুল দিয়ে আমরা চারটাকে একসাথে ভেক্টর সাম করতে পারবো যেটা আমি তোমাদের চ্যাপ্টার 3 তে পড়াবো ডোন্ট ওরি अबाउट দিস বাট টু বি অনেস্ট উই ক্যান ডিভিড উই ক্যান অলসো ক্যালকুলেট দ্য রেজাল্ট্যান্ট ভ্যালু অফ এ বাই ইউজিং টু ভেক্টরস এট আ টাইম মানে করছো তুমি এই দুটো নিয়ে একটা রেজাল্ট্যান্ট আগে বাই করলা মানে করছো সেই রেজাল্ট্যান্টটা হলো হচ্ছে হচ্ছে এক্স তারপর এই দুটো নিয়ে একটা রেজাল্ট্যান্ট বের করলা মানে করছো হচ্ছে ওয়াই তারপর তুমি এক্স প্লাস ওয়াই কে অ্যাড করলা মানে করছো হচ্ছে তোমার রেজাল্ট্যান্ট আসলো হচ্ছে লেটস সে হোয়াট এভার দ্যাট ইজ ব্যাম and that is your a value so you can always add up two vectors at a time to get a resultant and eventually repeat the process that's what i said na je bucho ji sir acha eta ekta part arta part hocche vector summation er jonno arta important part hocche je linear vectors theke handle kora motamoti quite easy what do i mean by this linear vector theke handle kora motamoti quite easy eta mane hocche erokom je if you have two vectors which are both in the same alignment mana koro ekta vector dewa ache hocche p let's say a lane p goes mana koro hocche 10 newton ekta vector dewa ache mana koro hocche edike dewa ache hocche uh, i'm trying to draw both of them to be horizontal don't get the wrong information <laughs> so let's say q ekta vector dewa ache mana koro seta hocche 4 newton and tomar jodi ami boli je well calculate a vector equals to p plus q you can very easily calculate this p plus q total value koto hobe obviously because they are in the same straight line you can directly add these up this will be 14 newton in any other case if you are, if i ask you to calculate what is the true resultant of vector p minus q eta value koto hobe 10 newton exactly opposite direction hobe 4 newton so p minus q mane hocche amra q ta ke ulta bo so ei ap minus q er resultant ta ke amra jehe easily shape korte pari one way to calculate this up is that we can write this as p plus minus q if you wonder sir if you can only clean if you likha karon hocche we know how to add up two vectors we do not necessarily know how to subtract two vectors well subtraction is basically one type of addition subtraction is the addition of two numbers where one of the number happens to be negative i'll come again subtraction is basically one type of addition it is the type of addition where one of the numbers who are being added happens to be negative which means amra ekhane p plus minus q korte parbo so q vector jodi erokom hoy q vector jodi dekhte ei erokom hoy essentially negative q vector we'll say i'm let me try to draw this with red minus q vector hobe hocche dekhte erokom minus q which is also have the magnitude of 4 newton but in the opposite direction so that's the difference if q is working to the right 
with some length. Minus Q is going to have the exit same length, but only going to work exit in the opposite direction. So, if you do P minus Q, then you will see that P is going to be P and Q is going to be P and Q is going to be P. So, ultimately, you will see that P is going to be P and Q is going to be P. So, ultimately, you will see that P is going to be P and Q is going to be P. Six Newton. <coughs> so if vectors are in a straight line, it's pretty simple to work them out. If vectors are not in a straight line, then you simply have to go for triangle rule or parallelogram rule. In my lecture onwards, in many of the parts, you'll see that I will preferably draw a triangle rule for the summation of two vectors because I can process it much too easily and it's less drawing for me. So I prefer to draw triangle rule. But if you need for applicable cases, for if you need me to show you the parallelogram rule of 11 cases, provided that you are not Preferring to draw a triangle rule, <clears throat> not for the sake of consuming some time of the class. If it so happens that you don't like triangle rule much, you like the parallelogram rule better. That 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 uh, helps you better understand. Then you can always ask me to draw the parallelogram rule formula for that relevant fact factor as well. I, I'm gonna do this for you, no big deal. But you have to stick to one of the at least one of this formula or one of this rule to be able to do vector sum uh, calculations. That is that has something that you have to be able to perceive. Or project or imagine in your head that eta eta kometa figure act is like our figure shape like kirkum how is it? Once you have some rough idea, only then can you go ahead and uh, and and, uh, and achieve that. Hold on, excuse me a moment. I have to pick this. Sosa called me, so I have to pick this. I'm sorry. <coughs> so, I'm not just the case that you know. I'm not. If we are trying to find out the resultant vectors for uh, two uh, cases, uh, two vectors quantities which are not parallel to each other, one of the very simple way we can go is the parallelogram rule. However, I'm making parallelogram rule in details. That's why. One thing that I want you to understand that whenever we consider. Two perpendicular components of of one vector. Let's say we have a vector. Let's say that is a. And let's say a vector ke dakhano asa hoche. Ek ko mete ek ko mete notation diye. Let's say this is the a vector that has some some velocity. Let's say uh, let's say that is six meter per second. So this is this is a velocity. This velocity v. Acha mete ke velocity the bolte si v di dakhai. Don't worry. A lahat dakhai mai. Mano kono chhe ata certain velocity ke ami six meter per second ke ami it a bhabe represent korlam. Akhon I can divide this velocity six meter per second into two components which are perpendicular to each other. Now, perpendicular to each other, can I say this? Shetar ekta reason ami alap korte chhe. Why are we so much interested in perpendicular components? Mona karo a v vector er. Let me draw with a green. A di ke amader angle hotche. Let's say ekhane mona koi angle ta hotche mona koro hotche theta. So am jodi ekhane ekta rectangle complete kori. जेटा होते हैं, डायगोनल टा होते हैं हमारे सिक्स मीटर पर सेकंड, उनके एक ट्रायंगल कंप्लीट कर लाम, तले अमार, इटा होता है ट्रायंगल ट्रायंगल, 
এই রেটাঙ্গল ট্রায়াঙ্গেল এর হাইপোটেনিউস হচ্ছে এটা সো এটা যদি বেস হয় আই ক্যান রাইট বেস ডিভাইড বাই 6 ইকুয়াল টু হচ্ছে কত cos থিটা অর আই ক্যান সে বেস ইকুয়াল টু 6 cos থিটা ভাজবাস আই ক্যান অলসো রাইট এটা যদি আমাদের অপোজিট হয় इट्स আ অপোজিট সাইড অপোজিট ইকুয়াল টু হচ্ছে কত 6 6 मन करल थे and this is the opposite side of the angle theta eta hoye eta hocche angle ei angle er opposite side hocche eta so that's why i'm using the term adjacent and opposite evel likhar karon hocche the adjacent side will always be hypotenuse into cos theta the opposite side can always be represented as hypotenuse which is 6 into sin theta these equations will be ever useful for you for a lot of upcoming math scenarios for even for your mechanics classes as well so this will be very helpful for you कम्पोनेंट uh, Similarly, a is taken on a case of v x a form of relation. V subscript x. This means the x component or the horizontal component of v, which is six cos theta. So these are some writing uh, no, no, notion here, which is uh, set up, which represents the vertical component, which represents the horizontal component. So if I write it, so if I have to understand that, guys, I am not just going to write vertical component, horizontal component. Pelam. There is a simple way that we can combine these two to get the actual v. How can we combine them? that comes very simply with pythagorean law have a look this is a right angle triangle so i can very well write v square equals to ki vx square plus vy square would you agree to this yes sir yes, it's yes. pretty simple stuff so when we do v ke submit kori <coughs> root over of vx square plus vy square tumra ei jish gula mostly shobai jano you might wonder je sir egula puran jish potro keno porai dese puran jish potro porai dese tomader ke eta mathay bhalo moto dewar jonno that we will be repeatedly using these stuffs in our physics calculation for the upcoming math workings just so that you can remember je gulo amader physics o lagbe trigonometry and geometry these are ev everywhere i mean you cannot say geometry is exclusively in geometry no geometry trigonometry numbers arithmetic algebra they are pretty much everywhere i mean everywhere of if you if, if you are into science they are pretty much everywhere like alphabets if you are writing in english they are everywhere Okay, anyway, I'm not making a very good example. Let me just get back to my physics part. So, that's it. V square equals to v x square plus v y square. If I'm taking v k subject, I can get this number. What I'm trying to show you is that if in cases, I can also calculate the value. If in cases you do not find the v x and the v y from v, let's say by some secondary way of calculation, by some different way of calculation, somehow you could calculate this quantity, and somehow you could calculate this quantity. If you have access to the numbers and directions of these two quantities, you can very well calculate this one out. Is it possible? Amra, a calculation monocrom. That is a calculation. We will not do. Amra, we have to 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 do
but by some set of calculation we could calculate out the vx we could calculate out the vy if we have access to these numbers we can very easily calculate the combined final velocity that is v by using pythagorean law additional to this we can also calculate out this angle as well kan dekho ei ei right angle triangle jodi dekhe khyal koro eta hocche amader opposite side eta hocche amader adjacent side so opposite by adjacent korle ki ashbe if we write vy by vx that would be given by which trigonometric ratio tan theta hobe opposite by adjacent it is supposed to be tan theta tar mane ekhane jodi ami theta ta ke ber kori theta is given by what tan inverse vy by vx so it is a key mean courtesy what i'm meaning over here is that if we can somehow calculate up the value of vx and vy we can very easily i mean ekhane kintu vx ebong vy er ekta eta ekta number eta ekta number ekhane eta ekta number eta ekta number ei dui number er moddhe kintu kono rokom ya nai ki nai kono rokom angle dewa nai mane kono rokom angle information eder moddhe embed kora nai they have mane kono additional angle information tader moddhe number hisebe tar moddhe add kora nai but by looking at the subscript x and y we can always say that this vx is exclusively the horizontal component which is perfectly horizontal and vy is the vertical component which is perfectly vertical so amra ei information dui already tader subscript theke jani je eta hocche to the horizontal direction eta hocche in the vertical direction and these are only numbers so if you have access to these two numbers you can calculate the final velocity altogether the total final velocity koto hobe you can also calculate how much angle does it make with the horizontal so you can also calculate out theta by doing tan inverse of vy by vx so basically once you know the magnitude of a certain vector quantity and you know the direction of vector quantity that entire vector quantity is known because any vector quantity is made up from two of these properties magnitude calculated here direction calculated here any question so far no sir dekho bolo ban think about this for is the same with the notes already so i'll be making the compilation in a bit before i before i go for that let me just tell you what why oh, oh, i mean what are we doing here acha dekho ami or dekh hold up a second yay ओके 
make more space. So let's have a look over here. So if you have shown a projectile, so so if you have allowed this, so initially let's say we have thrown a projectile and the upper direction as u. Well, here is the thing. Actually, if the projectile motion is R, what type of variable? So what I have said is that for any projectile motion, the projectile motion is defined to be projectile motion or to exist as projectile motion as long as the object is subjected to gravity or weight exclusively. Did I mean I have said that? That means that. उंड Think about this. If you are asked to calculate what is the final velocity of the projectile, it means the velocity at which it hits the ground. Because till the instant it hits the ground is what we define as projectile motion. The moment it has already hit the ground, the moment it has already hit the ground, it is no longer subjected to exclusive weight. It is. It has now become subjected to additional to weight. It the reaction force of the ground is also working on that stone. So we are not bothering about what is happening to the stone as it hits the ground and how much does it bounces back, and the mathematics would never cover this for your level. I mean, the there is a thing in your mathematics that's called the ratio of restitution. Whenever two objects collide with each other, how much of the uh, energy or velocity is conserved? It's called the ratio of mechanics. As you know, I'm on by I'm to the point to point to pull it on a power. But irrespective of that, we are not going to bother about this. What we are trying to concentrate, I mean, our scope of observation or calculation. I mean, any part that is specific about this, so that you don't confuse about this. Our scope of observation is exclusively for the duration where weight is the only force working on the body, which means till the point the stone loses my hand contact to the point it touches the ground. So, final velocity of the projectile doesn't mean. It hits the ground and remains stationary. For example, let's say, "Tomorrow I'm going to say a stone is thrown in, onto a piece of ma, on, onto onto on, on a sea." Okay, sir. So, if I'm uh, I'm sea to shape, put this. I'm going to calculate the final velocity of the of the stone as it hits the sea. And it is meaning it is meaning stone is on a shore. Can't fix it. Sea to hit, pull it. The stone will stop. It will slow down. But but what are you doing? We are trying. Uh, we are basically asking you what is the natural speed of the stone as it travels as a projectile. Uh, as as it travels as a projectile, and at the instance of hitting the sea surface, what was the velocity? So that's what we're asking you to calculate, not what happens after hitting. So don't confuse this up. So we can just tell me that actually, we can variable go up here, and then we can we can take pictures over here. So we have the variable over here, and then uh, this is the u and uh, initial velocity. We have divided the initial velocity into two perpendicular components, u x and u y. Uh, Okay, did, did I tell you why are you so much interested in in the vertical components? Kids, when perpendicular 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 component, why are we so much excited? Perfect version, teacher. Okay, teacher. No, I, I think I don't think I did. I don't, I don't think I did. Okay, both the same. There is a reason that we are so much interested in perpendicular components. Perpendicular components, they are at the very interested for current hold say. Whenever you divide any two vector con any vector quantity into its perpendicular components, these two components become independent of each other. These two components become independent of each other. Let me tell you what this exactly mean. Let me tell you what this exactly mean. These are basic theoretical understanding which is not needed to do some exclusive math math calculation. But these ideas are required for you to have an overall idea for how to process physics uh, for this for these uh, scenarios. So that's why I'm going around for some additional ideas as well. Many of you might feel like that. Egulo to silva sa na isara egulo ne kano ka tha bolte sa. Well, it's possible that you know better than me, and I know less than you. Uh, it's very much possible, and if that's the case, well, no comments. Try to think about it. This is this is an object. A object time. I'm not going to apply that. So, I can ask. I can ground. Who thay? Who did he ask? I can't say anything. So, I'm going to say that I'm going to apply a force on this object. In this direction. Okay. So, I'm going to apply a force on this object. In this direction. 
So let's say that force is named as F. With the horizontal, horizontal, let's say that force makes an angle of theta. Akon a F force the journal, the horizontal motion of a vertical motion of a. Well, you can think that a object of monogram initially chido ho chiki, a rest of chilo. The account did the rest of the force of like a shady game of course. So let's assume this object is in space, which perfectly makes good sense for our purpose, which is good. But let's let me give you a difficult, a bit more difficult scenario. A bit more difficult scenario. Kiro ko mono karo. Amu tomar ko bolle dilam. Je a object ta, je a object ta je ekhane aasi. Jaake jaro bo me a force apply korte se a direction hai. A object ta mono ko ekta initial velocity already aage thiye chilo. Mono ko amu tomar ko bolle dilam. Je she initial velocity direction ta hotshe. Let's say a dikhe. Let's say that object was having an initial velocity horizontally. If you wonder, sir, horizontally with the well, horizontally hot dog and I am a line to age a line to choose course a dot 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 line to choose course that line was sort of arbitrary. So we can choose this dot 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 line along the initial velocity. That's very much within our choice that we can do that. So it am a initial velocity. So I'm a force step like now. Now, if you want to calculate or if you want to find out how this force is going to affect the velocity of this thing, you cannot do this by a simple rule of basic mathematics that you have learned over here. Because here the applied force and the initial velocity are not in the same alignment. They have different alignment. So to me, how do you ask your goal? Well, first thing first, to make a object of mass, judi to make jana thake. Well, individual question da thake. F by m kore to make a acceleration da bike korte hobe. So to make acceleration da bike korbe, acceleration the pore farda kach korbe. So I'm gonna write this down over here. Let's say a equals to f by m. So it's actually our direct other kind of equation. Now, try to understand why are we so much interested in the idea of perpendicular components? Why is that magic? Because F is being applied over here, I can take this entire force of F and replace it over here on the other side. So I mean, I put F take a thure, I can I can wash it verbo if I want. However, uh, let's say I am going to do that by simply copying it with the freeform selection. So I'm gonna go to F four stack somehow and I can open a wash alarm. This is something that you can always do for your vector quantities is that you can always replace a vector quantity by keeping its magnitude same and eventually uh, taking it somewhere else. But you cannot tilt it. Tilt one notch, you cannot change the orientation of the force vector. You can you can relocate it <laughs> by keeping the duration and the length intact. You can relocate it in anywhere required in your vector diagram, but you cannot change its length which represents the magnitude, you cannot change this direction, which represents that direction. So it is quite possible. Once I have this thing, once I relocate this over here, I can write that if this was angle theta, which is early, earlier direction, so because it so it can eta theta because they are opposite angles. Tamane economic conveniently a a force take due to perpendicular component of Hakut. Let me draw these components with red just so you that you understand it better. A force a dicata component hobby f cos theta. Our educator component of F sine theta. Important for you to understand that these two components are perfectly perpendicular to each other, which means a force kuno a for a mana a force a direction and velocity cafe put the barbana. A force a direction and velocity cafe put the barbana. What I'm trying to mean is this one at the object a direction and jatchilo. Tarabotu needed a vertical force apply or continuous at a vertical force apply or kiobe. Object at the con move kora shuru gorbe. But the movement movement pattern is gonna move up, is gonna move like this. But she horizontally move put this one character vertical velocity as a gain hobe, about the horizontal velocity, horizontal velocity, horizontal velocity. So you can this is gonna move like that. But this force cannot speed up the horizontal velocity because this force was perfectly vertical, it can only affect a vertical motion, it cannot affect the horizontal motion because there's an anti degree between them. So a vertical force cannot affect a horizontal motion. That is important for you to understand because if this force was not vertical, monocore cannot check the object as the initial velocity chilo monocoro a direction. So my applied force to the AD ka hoy, a force the duta component by kutarba. Monocro component gula can be green dial this monocro acta component hoche dike, acta component hoche dike. A component a velocity take a perfectly affect curve, are a component of vertical direction character nodon velocity give add kora shuru curve. 
so the so the so the forces which are for, so the force and the velocity who are aligned with each other can be put down into these equations into these equations conveniently do i make sense yes sir kids please respond if you need me to repeat some part of this lecture please ask me about it anyone tumra ki adoto class shunte so because none of us sir Well, man, if you are uh, if you are really in the class, please do some respond in the group chat window. I'd like to see that you are actually here. I have a feeling that some of you, some of you might join in the class and just pop up from the in front of the screen, and then you're doing stupid shit elsewhere. I just feel like it. I mean, I I I have I am conspicuous. Wow, Dick is actually here. Yes, sir, we are here. ओके okay. अच्छा बोलते से आई थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक थैंक यू फॉर बीइंग हियर एंड इफ यू हैव क्वेश्चंस फील प्लीज डू अ कि जो ना बोलते सिलम इखने अच्छा so the reason we are so much interested in perpendicular components is that once you divide this force into two perpendicular components let's say f cos theta and f sin theta you can exclusively deal with u and f cos theta together so ei dui ta ke tumi combine kore tomar jaboti calculation korte parba whereas the f sin theta will can be calculated individually differently these two forces are no longer codependent on each other they are not going to work together uh, they are not going to work for the same alignment this is going to be working in the horizontal alignment this is going to work in a perpendicular 90 degree vertical alignment so you do not have to bother with these two these two things being codependent codependent মানে হচ্ছে এটার কিছু চেঞ্জ হলে ওটাতে কিছু চেঞ্জ হবে বাট এরকম না এটার চেঞ্জ এটাতে লিমিটেড থাকবে ওটার চেঞ্জ ওটাতে লিমিটেড থাকবে so you can calculate and analyze these two perpendicular directions individually for vector quantities that is very useful for us because that reduces the amount of complexity in calculation by a huge amount this is exactly why we are so much interested in perpendicular components not in some other type of components so कत u sin theta so this is the horizontal component this is the vertical component এখন মনে করো অবজেক্টটা এই রকম একটা ট্রাজেক্টরি ফলো করে এখানে এসে পড়বে ম্যাক্সিমাম হাইট অফ দা অপজেক্টাল আমরা ধরলাম মনে করা হচ্ছে ক্যাপিটাল h and it's going to flow fall fall flow fall down through this path এখানে মনে করা হচ্ছে এখান থেকে আচ্ছা আরেকটা জিনিস ইম্পর্টেন্ট জিনিস হচ্ছে for any projectile motion for any projectile motion and i mean for any projectile motion we will always consider the starting point as the origin of the coordinate system What do I mean by this? इतना माना होता है। मानो कोई एक एक नया प्रोजेक्ट आप शुरू करते हैं कि हमने ए दिया शूट करते हैं। एक आपने लिबर से ओ दिए। हमने ए पॉइंट तक हमने एक ता कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम में ओरिजिन जांच करो। तो हमारा इसे इतना होता है हमारे स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट। दान दिखा होता है हॉरिजॉन्टल डिस्टेंस, ऊपर दिखा होता है वर्टिकल डिस्टेंस। नीचे दिखा होता है नेगेटिव हॉरिजॉन्टल नेगेटिव वर्टिकल डिस्प्लेसमेंट, लेफ्ट होता है नेगेटिव नेगेटिव हॉरिजॉन्टल डिस्प्लेसमेंट। बट इन मोस्ट केसेस वी डोंट हैव टू बोथर बट द माइनस एक्स, बट इन मेनी केसेस यू विल हैव टू डील विद द माइनस वाई। जब उनका एग्जांपल तो हमारे देखा है, हमारे देखने जो शेयर पिक्चर गुलाब हमारे पिक्चर भी तासे, इट वुड बी इजी फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड सम हॉट व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से। लेट मी पिक इट अप। तुम लेकिन ग्रीन हेल्ड के बाद सो। इज़ देर एनीवन हियर फ्रॉम ग्रीन हेल्ड? राधे सर बात। डू यू नो फरीज़ा? Double now. Do you know Fariza? Fariza Tanvir. That's this is hard copy. Fariza is the only kid who had English literature in all of us. Did, did you kids know that?
and she made extremely amazing results. I'm just a cool to see she didn't fight this in again. Why is life giving me lemons? Ah, I see, I see. Hey, if you got a cool to see, lah. So what I was trying to mean is that. ভার্টিক্যাল origin let's say this is the scenario so for any case we will consider eta hocche amader origin system er origin so this so you have to assume that the zero point of your coordinate system is located at the shooting point or here it is like that or for this case here it is like that or for this case here it is like that jekhan theke shoot korte so ওই শুটিং পয়েন্টটা হচ্ছে তোমার কোঅর্ডিনেট সিস্টেম অরিজিন সো ওই কি ওই পয়েন্টটাকে অরিজিন ধরে তুমি দুটো ফুল অরিজিন ফুল কোঅর্ডিনেট সিস্টেমটাকে ভিজুয়ালাইজ করার চেষ্টা করবা বা অথবা আমরা এই কেসে আমরা এখান থেকে শুট করছি গ্রাউন্ড থেকে শুট করে একটা বিল্ডিং এর ছাদের উপর নিয়ে ফেলতেছি একটা কোন কিছুকে এরকম অর ইফ ইউ কনসিডার দা आवर অরিজিনাল ফিগার फ्रॉम হোয়ার উই অ্যাকচুয়ালি ডিভলভ फ्रॉम সো উই ক্যান কনসিডার ইফ ইউ কনসিডার দা ওয়ান্ট টু কনসিডার দা কোঅর্ডিনেট সিস্টেম ইউ টু অ্যাজুম দা কোঅর্ডিনেট সিস্টেম রাইট ওভার হিয়ার সো এদিকে হচ্ছে প্লাস এক্স এদিকে হচ্ছে মাইনাস এক্স এদিকে প্লাস ওয়াই এদিকে মাইনাস ওয়াই उटेंट let's say we shot the particle over here so this is the point where the particle started its journey and this is the point where t equals to 0 mano che this is the starting point of our journey ekhane ekhan theke object ta ekhan theke ei ure q point point pur asha porjonto amader required time hocche t it means q is the point where variable time t equals to hocche measured time t now you might wonder sir dui ta jinish ke ek symbol diye keno dekhalen eta ki dorkar ache well eta ebhabe dekhano karon hocche this is one of the ways that many of the physics theories are going to be evolved over the next couple of uh, year of your understanding that amra usually starting value ta ke zero bolchi but ultimately equation amra oi variable ta ke bashai disi t equals to t in this case mean that a, this is a position where you have t amount of time spent out that could be 5 second 10 second 12 second 2 hours whatever so uh, t is the amount of time yeah, at position q ebon let's assume some other variables let's say at q position at q position ट्रैकलिंग made a pause in your time time timeline and you are observing the motion of this particle so at this point of q you have a, you have a, you have a velocity v which is tangent to the curve which is a horizontal and vertical components obviously uh, measure kora possible and this is the point in terms of distances this is located s distance horizontally away from the starting point this is the horizontal distance s e je ekhane and it currently it is h height above the above the throwing point so it are a pointer e je a q pointer কোঅর্ডিনেট কেমন লিখতে পারি হচ্ছে sh তোমরা কি কোঅর্ডিনেট বুঝো यस सर উই ক্যান রাইট দা কোঅর্ডিনেট অফ দিস কিউ পয়েন্ট টু বি sh এটার হরিজন্টাল ডিসটেন্স হচ্ছে s ভার্টিক্যাল হাইট হচ্ছে h বিকজ উই আর কনসিডারিং দিস স্টার্টিং পয়েন্ট টু বি 0 0 সো এটা আমরা লিখতে পারি এডিশনাল টু দিস টু দা থিংস দ্যাট উই হ্যাভ সো এটা গেল একটা পার্ট আর এই পয়েন্টের মধ্যে ভেলোসিটি হলো হচ্ছে এটা এখন আমরা যে কাজটা করব আমরা দুইটা অ্যাক্সিস এর ক্যালকুলেশন আলাদা আলাদা করে করব হরিজন্টাল অ্যাক্সিস এর ক্যালকুলেশন আলাদা করব ভার্টিক্যাল অ্যাক্সিস এর ক্যালকুলেশন আলাদা করব সো আমাদের এটা হচ্ছে আমাদের বেসিক ইকুয়েশন যেটা আমি প্রথম ক্লাসের প্রথমে দেখাইছিলাম নাও ইফ উই জাস্ট কিপ অন অ্যাডিং দিস স্টাফস vx হবে হচ্ছে ux ax t 
এই পুরো ইকুয়েশনটা হচ্ছে বেসিক্যালি v u at ইকুয়েশন বাট রিটেন এক্সক্লুসিভলি ফর দা হরিজন্টাল এক্সিস অর x এক্সিস ওই জন্য আমাদের সব ভেক্টর কোয়ান্টিটি রেগুলার ডান পাশে আমরা একটা করে সাবস্ক্রিপ্ট x দিছি সো দিস বেসিক্যালি v u at বাট ফর অল দা ভেক্টর কোয়ান্টিটিস উই গেভ দা কম্পোনেন্টস টাইম x মেকিং দিস ইকুয়েশন এক্সক্লুসিভ ফর দা হরিজন্টাল এক্সিস t এর পাশে কোনো কম্পোনেন্ট দন দা কারণ সেটা ইজ এ স্কেলার কোয়ান্টিটি এন্ড ইট ডাজন্ট ইট ডাজন্ট হ্যাভ এ হ্যাভ টু ডিফারেন্ট এক্সপ্রেশন ফর হরিজন্টাল এক্সিস অর ভার্টিক্যাল এক্সিস t being a scalar quantity is same for both the axes so that's why t er juno kono alada subscript dewa hoy nai eta lagbe na so ekhane dekhi jodi amra pai x hocche 0 horizontal x horizontal direction acceleration 0 so eta holo eta so vx equals to hobe hocche ux plus 0 hmm sorry vx equals to ux plus 0 into t so therefore vx equals to ux amra amra jinish ta pailam ekhane jinish ta pailam je irrespective of the time irrespective of the time whatever that that time is because acceleration in the horizontal horizontal axis is zero after any amount of time final velocity in the horizontal direction and initial velocity in the horizontal direction should be exactly same vx equals to ux no matter how much time passes by is very simple at the object you are going to move at the so the direction tomar kono acceleration kaaj korbe na so joto shomoy dhore she travel korbo na keno the velocity to kono change ashbe na karon acceleration nai so time would not change this velocity that one vx equals to ux ashlo at that point second je point amader dekha lagbe let me choose out the second page of this lecture which is going to be here i believe aj ekhane so aj so horizontal velocity remains unaltered throughout if air resistance is considered the vx reduces to zero over time it reduces fast or rapidly with high vx and vice versa so ekhane je kotha tuku bolchi sei kotha tuku ekta physical discussion dewa ache hocche ei jaygay je amader jodi air resistance ke jodi kono shomoy amra considerable dhori je tomader math er jonno kokhono kora lagbe na but mcq question er jonno ba hocche paper 2 er structure question e logical reasoning ba state and explain type er kichu question e tomader ei concept ta ke kichu kichu case e eta eta ke tomar elaborate korte hoy so but kokhono matrix question eta ashbe na matrix question eta ashe na so oto jodi hoy tale amra ekhane jinish dekhaichi je ux jodi beshi hoy you mane if if this is let's say this is this is a velocity axis so ei velocity axis er naam hocche vx ekhon at t equals to 0 vx টা হচ্ছে ux সো ux এর ভ্যালুটা হচ্ছে আমাদের এখান থেকে যদি স্টার্ট হয় এর এস যদি না থাকে তাহলে এই ux টা কন্টিনিউয়াসলি এই ভ্যালু তে vx টা কন্টিনিউয়াসলি এই ভ্যালুতে থাকবে সো দিস ইজ দা কেস দিস ইজ দা গ্রাফ আই মিন দিস ইজ দা গ্রাফ ফর এর রেজিস্ট্যান্স ইকুয়াল টু 0 এন্ড দিস ইজ দা গ্রাফ ফর এর রেজিস্ট্যান্স ইজ উইথ সাম ভ্যালু সো এখানে এখানে 0 না সো এর রেজিস্ট্যান্স যদি 0 হয় তাহলে টাইম গেল আমাদের ux টা ux এর ভ্যালুতে ফিক্স থাকবে হুইচ মিন্স ইওর হরিজন্টাল ভেলোসিটি হরিজন্টাল কম্পোনেন্ট অফ দা ইনিশিয়াল ভেলোসিটি উইল রিমেইন স্টেডি whereas if you have some air resistance your horizontal velocity will slowly reduce to zero can je the air resistance ache kintu tomar kono applied force o nai ar horizontal direction once you have mane uh, once you have thrown the projectile in in space the only force that we have available is weight that is exclusive for the vertical direction so horizontal direction tomar forward kono force nai you only have a reverse force which is the air resistance but air resistance is also a force that is highly dependent on the object's velocity and object's cross sectional area jeta tomar all of us are shikso je air resistance ke ki ki factor diye affect kore সো ওই জন্য যখন আমাদের অবজেক্টে হাই স্পিডে মুভ করবে তখন তার এয়ার রেসিস্ট থাকবে বেশি যত স্পিড কমে আসতে থাকবে এয়ার রেসিস আস্তে আস্তে কমে যেতে থাকবে দিস ইজ হোয়াই দ্যাট ডিক্রিজ অফ দা কম্প অফ দা হরিজন্টাল কম্পোনেন্ট অফ ভেলোসিটি ইফ এয়ার রেসিস ইজ কনসিডারড সিগনিফিক্যান্ট ওই ডিক্রিসটা লিনিয়ার হবে না এট হাই স্পিড এট হাই স্পিড ইউ উড হ্যাভ মোর ডিক্রিস এট লো স্পিড ইউ গোনা হ্যাভ লেস ডিক্রিস দ্যাটস হোয়াই ইওর ডিক্রিস অ্যামাউন্ট ইজ গোনা বি বিকাম স্লোলি লেস এন্ড লেস এন্ড লেস হুইচ আলটিমেটলি গিভস আস দিস কাইন্ড অফ এ গ্রাফ হুইচ ইজ এ বিট সর্ট অফ লাইক এ নেগেটিভ এক্সপোনেনশিয়াল গ্রাফ but you can see that the gradient is slowly becoming less ekhane gradient on x steeper less gradient less gradient less gradient less gradient and eventually it becomes to zero here we have zero gradient this essentially means that the horizontal speed has come to zero it's not moving horizontally anymore eta ej 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 aspect ta bollam ei aspect ta visualize kora khub simple ekta mane sohoj upay ache ei sohoj upay ta tomader ektu dekhai kota baje 3:29 amader class 4 ta porjonto na sir yes sir এখানে তো সব অসাম অসাম জিনিস পড়ে দেখাই দিছে 
আমি দেখাতে যাচ্ছি হচ্ছে and it's still rising up rising up rising up rising up rising up and it's still almost on the, on the onto the d box have a look it is still rising and now somewhere over here if you consider somewhere along about here it is not rising up anymore you can see that now it is starting to fall off do you see this again the fall off course rules so somewhere within this track you can consider there is a maximum point can we decide that this is the maximum point somewhere over here take a good look so this is the maximum point of the of, of 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 the travel and then it falls from this point it falls down to over here from this point down to over here it falls to the uh, go, to the goalkeeper with the, with only this much horizontal distance have a look it falls like this ah uh, ah uh. You see, this is falling like onto in a very sharp curvature, and that that goalkeeper entirely misses the point, and it becomes a goal. So the point that I'm trying to make you understand is that if we do not have, if we do not have air resistance, in that case, this trajectory, this trajectory that you see over here, as you can see, figure that out, some of you have figured that out. Actually, so it's easier for me to explain here. If we do not have डिसम যখন আমি তোমাদেরকে আমি অ্যাকচুয়ালি একটা এমসিকিউ क्वेश्चन নিয়ে দেখাই দাঁড়াও লেট মি জাস্ট পিক আপ এন এমসিকিউ क्वेश्चन এমসিকিউ क्वेश्चन অনেক ভালো ভালো বলতে আছে কনসেপচুয়ালি অনেক এনরিচিং টেক এ লুক এট দিস এমসিকিউ A golf ball is hit with the same force and direction on uh, Earth and on the Moon. Which diagram best represents the shapes and paths taken by the golf ball? It is being hit with the same force and same direction. That means initial direction should be same. It will be. And initial direction same na. It is taken as such a B. Have a look at the starting point of the B option. What do you see? That Moon angle should be less. Earth angle should be less. That means. same direction er jinish ta initial same direction er jinish ta b option e maintain hone so b bad if you understand moon doesn't have any atmosphere so ta mane moon e kono rokom air resistance nai ta mane moon er trajectory ta hobe perfectly bisymmetric with respect to the mid line perfectly bisymmetric bolte ami bujhachi e je ei rokom eta jinish e je ekhane ami je symmet line ta akhilam ei figure na kon figure jeno akhilam ei je ei figure ta akhilam If you have a projectile that is, that doesn't have air resistance, then you're gonna have. If you draw a vertical line from the highest point, you're gonna have exactly symmetric shape on both sides. You're gonna have perfectly symmetric shape on both sides. So, uh, 
According to the question, Savia, yes, okay, we'll say initial angle equal. I'm just say to worry. So, John, a potential lady that goes if you have a look at this portal, this portal has almost similar shape on either side of the maximum point line. So, it just a maximum line position. Let me just draw it is maximum position. It is a the camera that do you see equal. So, that's the case for a areas and zero case. You don't have any areas, so it's gonna have a symmetric shape on both sides. However, whenever you do have air resistance, you're gonna have a track that looks like this. Have a look, it's an actual track. Do the reason, it's an gravitational field strength, Mune thick on a stronger, about six times stronger. So, when Mune at a certain golf ball, Joto to go hide game, put the barbe, at the Abusha to go hide game, put the barbe, and I can at the Katar Agi on a strongly pulled down Kureniche, Nama filter. Ojuno, a Mune maximum head beshi, at the maximum head comb. But are they additional to them strong additional to the stronger stronger gravitational field art also have what air resistance because we have a significant atmosphere Sorry, my cats are doing weird stuff. My bad. <coughs> so, Earth, Earth has a significant dense air uh, atmosphere, which means, Earth is going to be, throughout this motion, from here to here, this object is going to slowly start to experience a smaller and smaller and smaller horizontal velocity. So, the horizontal velocity is going to be going to be. The rising part is going to be horizontal distance, the falling part is going to be horizontal distance. That is exactly what I wanted to see you in this video. Have a look. That if I, if I if I go back and give it a bit of a speed reduction, I mean, at the frame by frame, now that I don't get half speed of that. Hey, they want to have it. Hey, Full screen cooler now, Nichir, it is. Full screen cooler now, a a barta to lay or gotha, which I guess. So, the what, what I was trying to get is that. We get a little bit of a little bit of a this is a horizontal view, a better observation. The kick is being made and it goes up very fast, very fast, very fast and rises to its maximum height somewhere over here, which is a really long way distance. And then you have a much smaller distance on the right side for the fall. And as it falls, it does not essentially fall by the same speed as it was going up. Kick is a speed chill on a but falling is speed to This is because of air resistance. That air resistance is slowly taking our speed from the motion, but horizontal cases speed has shown up to have a horizontal speed are attributing but positively adding on a factor nine. But vertical case, I want to wait as a solution of waiter factor, you know, just to change it. She changed time to take a key, she does a for significant second equation. I want to say that I'm a vertical axis, you know, man, why is it you know, the amount of equals to you plus it apply to it on a very good equation by lamp. UI equals to UI plus a y into t or equals to UI equals to you sign theta minus gt. So, if I take a manager, I will come. The only the areas is not okay. Shake is some of the equation of equation to graph of which is the local. You will start from a positive value, which is which is somewhat over here. We have a high positive value as it will rise up to its maximum position. As such, the positive value to come down to zero. Have a and a position a jail to another trajectory which horizontal and a position exclusive exclusive velocity to have a check to the matter ux at the maximum position. You are used practically zero. So, I'm going to eat a can take a come to come to the connection zero. He said, and I can take a you at about need to get about about a position. I shall be equal hobby. It had a possible vector diagram to make a minute that I know Saka and I can I meet a class. I can usually. Sorry, 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 sorry.
nice figure. I love Google. I'm not figured it to Dehi. They have covered two cases over here, who both of which are important for us. What they are showing you is that V0. They are representing the initial velocity as V0. V0 means V0. The value of V at t equals to 0, which is basically initial speed, which is u for our case. So we can say angle to theta naught. Initially, I'm a valid color angle, vector the choposi, object amother, a recommended trajectory to move for this. Well and good. What you need to see is that for the entire motion, the VX is remaining same. The blue color arrow length shop jay the kiyase. Exactly same as. Kothao ita kombi shi hoche na. But if you consider for the orange color arrow, as time goes by, that orange color arrow is slowly becoming bigger and smaller. So, ita hoche madhe, asha. So, ekhen aura anak boro kore dahe se. I mean, just ekhen tega dahe ho. I mean, ei ei continuation na dahe hai. E jekhen hoche upward big, a bit smaller, a bit smaller, a bit smaller, zero. This is the maximum maximum height, maximum point or maximum height of the projectile. A point te utha port jondo tar vertical velocity ta kom to kom to kom to kom to zero hai galo. If you wonder why, because for this amount of motion the particle was going upwards, where the weight was working downwards. So for this part of the motion, for this part of the motion, the weight was working against the vertical motion. Beyond the vertical position, at an A point of part thick your subject niche put the say, would you cast the niche dig? That's why now the downward velocity starts to increase. So you can see that the orange color arrow slowly starts to go higher and higher and higher. Another you do object you them at a grounded so cool, eventually she is the ground base for a tally projectile motion, a can issue yet. Further beyond your cotana. But she is also now with a body. It is possible, but I got to meet a building a chadu put the projectile motion fella, the projectile motion turned on a mother at a stone object, chadu put the guru eventually marked the apple. Shake say this projectile motion can be continued further as it goes down the line. If we for because air resistance was considered negligible, even as it goes further beyond, we VX value error size exactly the same as the horizontal component of the velocity is not at all being changed. What is being changed exclusively is the VI. So VI is getting more and more and more bigger because the art is pulling it more. So the art will add more velocity to the vertical component, but the horizontal component of velocity will remain unchanged. That is exactly what we derived in this equation. VX equals to UX and VY equals to U sine theta minus GT. Any questions so far? Anyone? Acha. See, I can take one of the velocity to the Hishap columns. I keep having a black lip, a sabong, a skew shop with the bow. She has a bit to polish the set. The Habu are who say, I can or I can a idiot of the air is really different scenario. A graph actually, I mean, a graph essentially perfect. A graph shape is perfect. I say, I mean, if I act a difference, both the CJ, if you in most cases, if you're trying to compare between two, two, two trajectories, it's important that you give both of them the same initial conditions. Tamano Chamji, the no air resistance among air resistance selected track is the compare good to Jay. Preferably, they should have the same initial starting point. So, I can either a vector either a car initial start initial angle the same the Hano Hone. But the Hale do the comparison are to more uniform hoto, Mane without a much variable hoto. So, it I can the Hale. The artisan is the highest in the Hano Sedoche for a given or predefined you projectile travel for this that is terrestrial or is first closer. As a eight are I get to calculation as some other. Right to the same. Good playing is with my heart. Mm -hmm. Acha. I want to be able to view a chiloto. Tarpore as be a tarpore as well. Okay, so a camera for the initial process is that if we can calculate out this VX and VY values individually from our available information, then we can find out the total value of the V, which is the magnitude of the final velocity. It can be given by to calculate V, comma, modulus of V, modulus of V minus the magnitude equals to root over VX plus VY square, Pythagorean law, 
and tan alpha equals to v by i v x. And if you want the alpha kutti aslo, amra je a point er angle ta ke alpha main korsi. Ekhane figure amader jinish ta nai. I'll try to edit this in the image and add it in your in your figure. Shita utse a angle ta. Mane the angle that the horizontal makes with the velocity over here. The angle with v x and v y. Not v x on a horizontal side the v y angle. Not horizontal side the trajectory angle. Like I mean angle ta actually actually ekhane beshi ekhane utse. Ekar chikon kore nila mane bhala hobe. So I'm meaning the angle between these two. That is not supposed to extend all the way up to the trajectory. A angle ta kanabol si alpha. Mane a point te she horizontal side je angle ta poris kulo si she angle ta hoche alpha. So she alpha angle ta kamera ekhane v alpha koi jalo. Aje alpha ko tan alpha ko shubhi by vx ekhane thema by korte alvo. So ekhane kono jhama la nai. Horizontal displacement je jo nikoshon ashbe hoche a c ko shubhi plus half a d square. But I'm not sure what the original exercise is, you know, x x the above I see so it's equals to ux t plus half a x t You can have a square hole got a square test when we'll add any but there should Be a square over here You have a square to bath for said I mean don't know say I hopefully edit quality what you did because the village at the moment on Peter put on here to the new It is a question I think this is how I see you plus have this question. So Well, I'm on Yes, sir. Basically, basic equation, but only written for the horizontal case. The like and take it as you do zero. So a a a structure zero. So a poor component of other product is zero. So about to let me look at a c equals to u cos theta t. You accept hello. I can watch on the same thing. You know, particular case. You know, Kuri, the particular case is when I am this alarm. Which I'm not h a j can h h s a j can h. Very good. So then h equals to c y t plus half a y t square. A y of this is zero. Now a y hoche minus g. So a y will minus g. Bashan or you make an extra summit minus h. U y hoche u sin theta t. Minus half g square. So altogether, this is what we require. The question, which we have to throw out the sum, we have to calculate. So I am not saying the question is that you just don't box it. I am saying the question is that box it. This is what we require. 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 And finally, this is what we require. 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 बुझा लगे ख्याल करो आधा यूजफुल इनफो आधा यूजफुल इनफो होता है एट अनऑब्स्ट्रक्टेड मैक्स हाइट वी वाई इक्वल्स टू जीरो अनऑब्स्ट्रक्टेड मैक्स हाइट ये अनऑब्स्ट्रक्टेड कौन सा ना मानो छेरो को जो मानो को तुम्हें एक तरह सर्टेन प्रोजेक्टल के नॉर्मल खोला आकाशीय नीचे दारे आकाशीय थ्रो कोल्ला सो इट अनऑब्स्ट्रक्टेडली तुम्हार माने अनऑब्स्ट्रक्ट बोलते हो चाहे मैं कुछ ना कोनो बैरियर नहीं बट फिजिकल कोनो किसी तो हिट करा मत किसी ना इस सिंपली गोइंग थ्रू द स्पेस एंड इमेजिंग इस गना कंप्लीट स्टेट प्रोजेक्टल and if you wonder eta kon kese na hoyte pare eta erokom kichu na hoyte pare shela chumar kor tumi tomar ghorer bhitor dara chhader dikata jinish dhil marla and this ta ki eventually chhade hit korlo ta mane chhade ki hit korar por to she eventually abar down downwards fall korbe so chhade jodi she actually hit kore oi position e kintu tar view e zero na because that was not unobstructed naturally decelerate korte 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 jodi view e zero hoy ote ke amra bolche unobstructed hit But if it actually hits a physical object, we cannot essentially say that is the possible maximum height. Possible maximum height, but or the way we want to use that maximum height, due to our hitch up court, the object of motion to be obviously unobstructed. How is it? So in that case, view equals to zero. So we can take our actual calculation by the total flight time for a cinematic projectile, which is t equals to two u sine theta by g. The derivation that is just a formula that you can remember or you can forget. It doesn't matter. Maximum horizontal distance covered for a cinematic projectile equals to r equals to u square sine two theta by g. Comes from the replacement t equals to t in equals to in uh, s equals to u sin u t. A e, 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 derivation will be the lag banana. A equation that I have found out. See, I am a equation the further that calculation will go. To be honest, to my jara uh, eventually plan to so the uh, Bangladesh uh, board will give you uh, these equations will come very high, handy for you in many of the admission test map. Because a level set for uh, content on which to my there for my admission test are going to lag be. So if you plan to appear for these things, you might need to go through the more detailed version of these parts you might want to uh so it's okay that i can tell my language r equals to u square sine 2 theta by g 
আর বলতে আমরা বুঝি হচ্ছে একটা প্রজেক্টের ম্যাক্সিমাম হরিজন্টাল ডিসটেন্স এটা एक्चुअली এখানে লেবেল করা নাই আই ইফ আই ওয়ান্ট টু লেবেল দিস থিং আর ক্যান বি লেবেলড ওভার হিয়ার টু বি দিস মাচ ডিসটেন্স এখান থেকে অল দা ওয়ে আপ টু দিস পার্ট লেট মি লেবেল দিস উইথ হোয়াট লেটস সে ব্রাউন 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 নো এটা কি ডার্ক রেড ওকে ডার্ক রেড সো এটুক হচ্ছে ইউজুয়ালি কাছে আমরা হচ্ছে আমাদের ক্যাপিটাল আর ক্যাপিটাল আর উড মিন্স দা maximum horizontal distance covered or something that is also also named to be range that's why we use the letter capital r so range horizontal maximum distance koto rokshe dure jete parbe at a project level so shei range er equation ta hocche r equals to u square sin 2 theta divided by g so okhan theke amra eta ashe hocche ei system kore ekhan theke amra jeta khyal kori je if you have multiple shooting mechanism where you will be shooting the same projectile with the same সেম প্রপোরশন সিস্টেম মনে করো সেটা তোমার রাবার ব্যান্ড হইতে পারে সেটা তোমার একটা বম ব্লাস্টিং হইতে পারে সেটা একটা বুলেট হইতে পারে সেটা একটা পাম্পকিন শুট করার জন্য একটা ক্যাটাপাল্ট হইতে পারে বাট ইউ হ্যাভ দা সেম প্রপোরশন সিস্টেম এবং সেম প্রপোরশন সিস্টেমে সেম ম্যাচ দিয়ে তুমি একই প্রজেক্টকে डिफरेंट डिफरेंट অ্যাঙ্গেলে তুমি যদি থ্রো করো সেই কেসে যেটা হবে যে আমরা উই হ্যাভ টু অ্যাজিউম দ্যাট উই উইল বি শুটিং আ প্রজেক্টাইল এট डिफरेंट অ্যাঙ্গেলস বাট উইথ দা সেম ইনিশিয়াল স্পিড সো আমি যদি একই প্রজেক্টাইলকে ইকুয়াল স্পিডে multiple different angles to shoot kori we can consider that u square is a constant and g is also by default constant because g is basically what the acceleration due to get due to free fall so that at a certain geographic location jeno constant tar mane ultimately je darailo je r er value ta dependent hocche ei sin sin 2 theta ei ei angle tar upor sin 2 theta ki hoye ashe seta ami equation derivation dekhai nei believe my words je ekhane ta sin 2 theta ache and r er value sobte beshi hobe jodi ei sin 2 theta value maximum hoy and je kono sin sin ratio er maximum value value hocche plus 1 je kono sin ratio er maximum value hocche plus 1 so if sin 2 theta which is the max equals to 1 then 2 theta max equals to 90 degree or theta max equals to 45 degree ta mane ei question theke amra jeshe bujhte partechi je ami tobar ekta figure e dekhabo je we can have the maximum distance traveled by a by a fixed initial velocity projectile if it is shot at 45 degree with the horizontal स्पीडे এখানে 45 ডিগ্রি অ্যাঙ্গেলে শুট করছি দিস ইজ গোনা ফলোইং এক্স্যাক্টলি ওভার হিয়ার এটা কে পাম পাম করতেছে কে ইজ ইট মেসেঞ্জার মেকিং দিস সাউন্ড স্যার এই পাম পাম এই সাউন্ডটা কোথা থেকে আসছে আমার পিছিতে আসছে বাট আই এম নট শিওর কোথা থেকে আসছে মেসেঞ্জার থেকে আসছে এটা এটা অফ করার উপায় কি with messenger but i need these pictures save the pictures sir notification off korle hote pare e je ekhon jeta korche eta thik ache focus assist chantara diye rakhche eta thik ache i think this should do it full screen mode apni jodi paint full screen mode den tale mone dibe na acha dekhi hopefully ekhon ar hobe na डिग्री टार्गेट because covered distance er actual length hocche onek kom so for tank you can literally aim your target and shoot it is going to travel straight up and it is going to do the explosion whereas 
if you are doing some conceal missions using mortar so do you kids know what mortar is for yes, those who don't know what mortar is let me just show you what a mortar is no not mortar and pestle mortar weapon acha this is what a mortar looks like this is a handheld device people uh, soldiers can basically take it, take this in their backpack and they and they set it up like in this fashion and you have some measuring gauges in this in this apparatus setup and what you can do you have this thing you aim it at a certain angle and then you put down this this type of handheld missile this person is holding a handheld missile over here that's the mortar shell you're going to put it down in this pipe this is going to fall down this pipe fall down this pipe and hit over here which is going to ignite a small explosive charge at the behind of this thing पहाड़ा <laughs> Because this can go above physical obstacles pretty easily, but there is a catch. Catch that is, it is the aim of the procedure. That is, on a kind of trial and error, among experience will be dependent. Because you will shoot more, but the motor on a kind of distance cover will be tougher than the other. That means this is going to take some significant amount of time for the shell to ultimately hit the ground. So, my required time to on a key have. Time to on a bishy have. But it can give you the safety in cases you need it. So, our the two different projects will function as a two different projects. Our the different different cases are like so. It is our data generation. Our air project generation. Our the analog project. So, asymmetric project. Asymmetric project. The basic idea is that we are asymmetric project. We are talking about the symmetric project. Those are those. I symmetric project. Those symmetric project are those which have same landing level as start. That is, the trajectory is symmetric about the maximum height line. Which I am talking about. Bolay Aslam. नीचे गलो मीटार्सि डाउनिटी Think about this. A position that you know y coordinate will be negative. So our question is that the minus sign will be there. The question is that the matter height will be there. But when you do calculation, what is it? If your final location is below horizontally below compared to your starting position, you have to place this number as a negative number in your equation so that it doesn't mess up your equation. Or if it is up or down, then there is no problem. No, if it is if it is if it is the origin of it. फर्मुला Well, but you don't essentially have to uh, memorize this thing. Uh, this equation is more than likely. Yeah, R equals to p square plus q square plus two p equals cos alpha. R ten alpha equals to. Okay, uh, this is the problem. Next, I will solve it. Don't worry. Uh, I'm going to conclude the class today. But before I go further, 
uh, is it possible that we can schedule one class tomorrow? I'm entirely free for the full duration of tomorrow. So you can propose any time frame that makes that works for you. You can speak up or you can write. I'm looking both the, at the chat window and I'm listening to you by default. I really want to have one more class on this chapter before I let you go off for your uh, Eid vacation. Sir, Bala. Eid vacation is for a normal time to back for when Monday is it Thursday? Ta? Thursday the 1 p.m. is chilo na? No, 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 no. Eid vacation is for a mother. Yeah, should have a keyboard. Uh, master mandir. Yes, I class should have a one. And we had a discussion on the Thursday class. That's why this written over here. AJ. Economic class in a good essay. From June 515 to 715, we had a discussion about the about the replacement of this class. Mm. With all of you. Our A cluster, Ekana A cluster, uh I should really consider trying to shift this somewhere over here because this is actually getting a lot of misses. But I mean, I, I hope, I sincerely hope that uh, hopefully a cluster misses. But that's not my point. I'm, this is, I'm I one minute above, above my class timing. Can I have one class tomorrow? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have one class tomorrow. I just want to get a bit further in the political chapter and you'll also have the uh, notes to work with and the uh, worksheets to work with. Because you kids are not saying it, yes or no. Do I, should I assume that I shouldn't have one class tomorrow? Sarah, I don't have a problem. Just three to five classes. Okay, I'm practically free for the entire duration for tomorrow. Can you say Friday to seven thirty to nine thirty? So, a class to one night. Can you say I'm going to take this lunch and fast upon the class in Bogana? Was that the notice? notice? Was it for till Thursday or was it till Friday? Friday? Sir, Friday, 22 for Chilo. Oh, sorry, Talibu was it. Talamakalka was a class to If they're a poor free, if they're a gay, they come from a free. So, uh, Kyojan Bola Hoche to my classes of Tinta Tea Pasta. Yes, sir. Well, if they're Hoche Choi Tai. Radia is proposing a class at one, two, three. I am up for it. But that's Juma time. Many of our students might want to go for the Juma. That's the last Juma. So I would rather not uh, mess this up. Say he read poor. No, no, no. That's not possible for everyone. Let me see if I can cancel out. Acha, I want to lecture class. I'm recording off for it. See, 